All right, let's watch this. What's our what's our lad trying here? That one's definitely the worst one. <laughs> what the it, hell is It's that? giving me good like Hot Ones vibes. Yes. Might have to rip some. Hey, I'm Lewis Hamilton, and today I'm going to be helping the Broncos reveal their schedule by trying out food from the 2024 finals. I don't believe in Indiana. They this is what they'll eat, but I guess yeah, that it, it is. Which, I mean, so he's eating ranch with like carrots and celery sticks. Right. There's no way that they're eating carrots down in the, down there. I what that is? What is that supposed to mean? Yeah, I think he thinks they're eating like pork loin <laughs> sandwiches. Which yeah, <laughs> if you've seen the the Indiana the Indiana tenderloin that's as big as a, a hubcap, yeah. He could have ended the sentence with "I don't believe in Indiana." That's that's also fine. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Actually, that's really banging. Gosh darn it. What is a yinzo? <laughs> Why are yinzo? That's just mashed potatoes? <gasps> What's a yinzo? This is mashed potato pierogi. Oh, this is so good. Also, He's proof right. that it's pierogi like hits wherever dish. you're having it, right? It's like dumpling, it's universal. It's a bit like something Roscoe would eat. Whew. Okay, how are you going to make Atlanta, a vegan yeah. Creole? It's it just, yeah. Yeah, also, he, didn't, he didn't like that. No, but that also all... strikes me as something that needs uh, some some animal byproducts in it. Yeah. And not to defend the Falcons on any front here, but watch him with Peach Cobbler. And let me tell you, it would be very difficult, I think, to make a proper Peach Cobbler without like... Ice cream? Ice cream, animal fats. Yeah, Butter. this is just crumbs. You're just yeah. eating crumbs. This That's sucks. Fair. This is not good. I sympathize this with This is Southern here. food? That is not Southern food. You this can't eat Southern finest. food. <laughs> He hated the grits. He's eating the grits and he hates the grits. I... <laughs> what the hell is that? You don't like grits, Spencer? I love grits. Oh, grits are texture. fine. Grits yeah. need just cheese so and slimy. butter. It looks like something yeah, you see in the I, I gotta say, just... like without cheese it's or butter, like what you'd imagine you're not gonna be getting much out of the food, experience. Yeah. This is prison, it prison food. food. <laughs> that one really offended me. That's correct. <laughs> this is not golf. <laughs> what would you know about prison? The Chargers, they made him avocado toast. You know what? I, I think that's, bomb. yeah. And he loved it. That was his absolute favorite. Nah, leave that for Roscoe. Yeah. I didn't think Roscoe was going to like that, if I'm honest. Nah. <laughs> Roscoe beef. Roscoe vegan? definitely eats nah. beef carpaccio, Let's by the way. Say. Don't do that to the top. Casey-style barbecue is fascinating barbecue to me sauce. because what is he eating? It's, supposed to be it's jackfruit. I looked on the menu. Is it jackfruit? Okay. Yeah, which is actually I've had, not bad. I've had that. It's not bad. No. Oh, they did gave like him... the barbecue. I know they gave him Skyline chili, it. meatless Skyline I chili. I actually this is, this like it. He liked it. it. Oh, that's avocado toast is so That's bad. damning, Lewis. I thought Jeez. they were the chef. I trust his taste in most things. Is that real dog biscuit? Have you ever tried grits? It was like dogs puke. It's a little harsh. <laughs> I'll stand. For, I'll stand for grits here. Oh man, that's like my favorite video that exists on the internet now. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen the Chargers schedule announcement. It is superior second for, favorite our purpose, video. for our purposes. This is the <laughs> second best one. Uh, Jessica, do, <laughs> I, do we think we could sell Lewis on grits in an alternate world where he eats other things? I think anyone that eats proper grits, I, I don't know. I've never, I've never encountered someone that's had like real good home cooked grits with all the fixins. That's been like, oh, this is disgusting because yes, mm -hmm. the texture can be a little strange, especially if they're not cooked well. But yeah, I'm assuming they made that for him with like water, which is not the way to do it. No, not the way to do it at all, because it will just taste like the worst polenta you've ever had in your yeah. life. Second, they were very kind to Pittsburgh cuisine, which I know has a place in your heart. <laughs> However, I did want to say is his fondness for Cincinnati skyline chili an indictment of Lewis Hamilton's lack of taste in the first area of his life where I have found he might have a lack of taste, a literal lack of taste? Okay, first of all, going back to Pittsburgh for a second, what they sh the pierogies are delicious, of course, mashed potato, right. mashed potato pierogi, great choice. But what they should have gotten him was a salad with French fries on it because a it's vegan and B, I think he would have really enjoyed, he really would have enjoyed that. And I really would have enjoyed watching him see what that plate of food is. Um, but yeah, the skyline chili thing is super alarming. That's we sus. may, we may need yeah. to like, 
I, I don't know what we I don't know what to do here. We, we may need to have some sort of intervention. I don't like that. I, I don't like what that means. I am now deeply suspicious of only one area, one quartile of this man's taste after watching this. You video. know what? You know what? I'm mm -hmm. just thinking maybe it reminded him of like shepherd's pie. Yeah. Yeah. Because the Brits do like they do like their like meaty like filling with like a carb. Uh, ugh. I guess it's really just like a meat sauce on a pasta when you break it you down, know, right? It, here's the other thing too. Pierogi, it's a superpower. Every single culture in the world has a pocket item, food. Like a pocket yeah. food. Yeah. Pocket food is universal. So, so I think like Pittsburgh had the edge there. All right. Um, as they do in most things. <laughs> mm. I yeah. appreciate you saying the first nice thing you've ever said to me about Pittsburgh <laughs> I've said plenty of nice things about Pittsburgh uh, I don't know about that oh uh, yeah next time we'll take him to Permanis we'll get him a, a nice sandwich <laughs> without watch. without the layer of meat we'll find out Permanis cooks their delicious fries in some sort of animal fat that's like oh, I'm sure they and do. cruel yeah. even by Pittsburgh standards they're no, like it's yeah probably we like deer elephant fat. elephant lard we cook our <laughs> fries in elephant lard we dip them in the mon before we put them in the fryer right. that's what gives them the tang they're delicious <laughs> so gross oh man shout out to lewis though that was good content yeah shout out to the, no, the broncos made content specifically for us i hope you thank you i hope you can appreciate that for the first time in my life let me say thank you denver broncos thank you denver broncos <laughs> from the bottom of my heart yeah